its inaugural season. The conditions and the cancellation of the Super Bowl race. Jonathan Ray only had margin. We go down to the last day of the season to settle the 20. This Ida lights out on race one. Not a good start at all from Scott Redding. Ray is away, superb. Covering to the inside line. Top rack pushed back to third. It's Ray who leads early on. Gerloff loses a fourth. Gerloff a little tentative. Bassani comes through as well. Bautista also making progress. Rinaldo all the way up from 14th on the grid to 7th position just in the early stages. Top rack finding his feet in Scott Redding between himself and Raz Gatlioglu, but not for much longer. Redding tipping in there a little late and Top rack gets through. And Brand. Top rack got off the line a little bit slowly he's come up to speed pretty quickly here on lap one though up into second scott redding redding though on the switch back will have the inside line as they make their way off turns 13 and 14 up towards the championship top rack only needs second place in order to seal this title but he's not one for you don't collect the back of him ray holds firm less than a tenth of a second between them though at the end of lap number one yeah top rack's looking pretty big crash that could be conic conic at the start of the down lap very spectacularly indeed and these conditions and that's exactly what top rack has got leo clue is trying Trying to do here, hassling and harrying Jonathan Ray into a bit more confidence than Jonathan Ray. Just looking at the riders as well, looks like they're all still out there in full drive. That little advantage could have made a big difference. You can see for Bassani, though, really confident on Tom Sykes in the run down in towards turn fifth. Back outside the top ten, the start of lap three. Razgatlioglu has been close. Each he can't get there. Top rack's already through, and Razgatlioglu hits the front in race one. Yeah, top rack wants to win the championship in style. He said all the way through this season, pretty traditional line through that section of the track. It's all the way up towards turn 10. That's where it is at uh, turn 12. Bassani at the moment is the fastest man out there. Axel Bassani, who now cuts through on Scott Redding, said at one minute A, uh, it was Scott Redding who had uh, one second deficit to the top of the brakes. But we also know that Jonathan Ray is going to be desperately keen in this season finale. Top rack still leads. Ray set. Faster than top rack. Raz Garioglu out in the lead. He's bringing Andrea Locatelli with him as well. Just a second covered the lead quintet over the line at the end of lap number three. It's a chicane 11 and 12. Difficult to make a pass through there. Redding getting back on terms. Expecting that whatsoever from Axel Bassani. And this is dreamland now for Raz Gatlioglu. Yeah, top rack out in front. And the mark on the number 60 machine, the orange helmet at the back of this group. He's dropped Andrea Locatelli. So Raz Gatlioglu and Ray for the first time. Top rack went on to suffer a mechanical. Top rack the race leader. Redding still with them. Sykes half a second behind that lead quartet. A bit of a gap open. Right there with Bautista. Only a matter of time before Davis on the number seven gets through. And here goes Axel Bassani on top rack. Raz Gatlioglu. Podium finished his name. Remember back to those damp conditions in the Catalonia round earlier on in this season. Gresham as he fights his way through on top rack Raz Gatlioglu for second position through turns back in this race so far. We're only a quarter of the way through and Ray now wants to hit the front on Raz Gatlioglu. Bassani working wonders for the current race leader, the new race leader. Yeah, we've said all the way through this weekend, it looks like in the dry conditions, top rack would have had a few Yamahas up there with Bassani there because he knows second place behind Jonathan Ray is enough to clinch the championship. Coming off that 10th turn and towards turn 11 he does Ray had the better pick up Raz Gatlioglu was a aggressive back of him half a second between the four of them at the end of the previous lap and Bassani can't quite get it done on Raz Gatlioglu this time around he's able to bridge the gap to the two Ducatis in front of him Michael van der Mark in 6th position matching the pace of Bassani to the front it's Ray who leads last time around it was Raz Gatlioglu who uh, responded then there some of the dry weather pace we've seen this weekend ran by 3 seconds slower than the outright dry weather pace now it's a question of whether likes of Bassani pull away from the pack that works much better for top rack than it does for ray i'm not sure that there'll be enough I think bottling up top rack is going to be a real challenge because top rack has shown all the way through this season how aggressive he's willing to be on the racetrack move and uh, force the issue Yes, uh, Michael Vandermark directly behind, right on the T1 series. Bit of a moment there for Bassani, defending third position against Scott Redding. Still only half a second. That time around for Jonathan Ray, top rack, just a tenth of a second slower. And that's why the leading four are stretching away. Uh, as it is right now, it's just who's willing to push that little bit harder, who's willing to see where that grip in the gap. Yeah, and uh, Ray just trying to edge himself away in that middle sector of the lap. As you said earlier on, Alex, really able to stay with Ray. He wants to make sure that it's as safe a race as possible for him as much as anything else. The safest way for that for top rack. He's gradually improved. Raz Gatlioglu in the slipstream, not close enough this time around into turn one, but he was less than a tenth of a second behind. Certainly what we've seen all the way through this year is that these two riders so closely matched out on track all the way. Gatlioglu doesn't need to take any risks trying to pass Jonathan Ray. He only needs to stay in front of Axel Bassani and Scott Redding to be world champion, but he's taking risks anyway. <laughs> his way to the front on lap 9 of 20. Jonathan Ray said on Friday, if you make a move into turn 10. Where Ray's been making up his time on his direct rival, but he's tucked in behind him. There's no way to get through. Jonathan Ray.
Ray ducks out of the slipstream in towards turn one. Ray's going to be very aggressive here on Raz Gathlioglu. He's not close enough on the run into turn one, but you could see a little bit of a change for him there. He wanted to make sure he was in a position to try and attack. And uh, top rack Raz Gathlioglu, the race leader. And all the while, these two are going to have to watch out for Scott Redding, who's closing in on them. New five nine for Raz Gathlioglu and a 136.28 for Jonathan Ray. He's left for such. Ray makes his pass. I said he's been strong through this final sector all race long. Raz Gathlioglu a little bit wide. They make moves like that. Top rack into turn one, though. Turn one of lap 11. Raz Gathlioglu now will respond. Ladies and gentlemen. Hasn't put a foot wrong out in the racetrack. He's racing this title deciding weekend the same way. Redding as well. Closing in and spoiling for a fight. Ray goes to the outside of Raz Gathlioglu. Redding here with an opportunity to mix. The horse will be comfortably enough. Second place would also be good enough. The best way Jonathan Ray can stop top rack Raz Gathlioglu. Very strong. Top rack's learned a bit of a lesson, though, in the previous couple of laps. And here goes Redding. Scott Redding down the end. He's generally been making progress on Raz Gathlioglu and suddenly top rack is able to make a bit of a gap Light operating window it's the fastest bike out in the racetrack and uh, right now scott does look like he's got a lot more position so uh, this would be big progress for bassani who stands to make up 10 of the 14 open the gas a little bit earlier so he exits the corn ver very well but you can see for scott Redding, he's opened that gap to jonathan Richards. wide very wide for top rack raz gatlioglu he's off the circuit altogether goes to show you the perils of a drying circuit it's not fully dry just yet Redding over the line for a new fight but ray will have seen that mistake for top rack that would have given him a lot more confidence trying to push on wake up call we've got the yamaha pit box just underneath our commentary box here and uh, certainly that would have given them a few increases so ray is going to push as hard as he can here to chase down and pass scott reddick yeah and you can see on this lap he's got his tail up he knows that he's got the opportunity to win this race put a bit of pressure on top rack now the gap to scott reddick behind top rack rask atlioglu has consolidated has stabilized his pace about that ray as has customarily been the case during this race one has got the better than Ray on this lap so far. New personal best sectors coming in from Top Rack Raz Gatlio. Uh, we know that it is going to be a situation where Top Rack will be the man of who. He's got to get through on Scott Redding. We saw him get really close in the run down in towards turn 10 last time around. He'll also know that he's at 1.2 seconds down on Top Rack Raz Gatlio Glue, despite the fact that he too is putting in personal. For Scott Redding through four and five and uh, certainly for an attack riding he's going to just have to try and put his bike in a position to get down the inside into turn 10 stand he must get past scott redding here to keep the title fight alive for another race to take us to a last race decider and line all together and does well to stay on the circuit it's going to give a second wind here to top rack raz gatlioglu to try and close in on the second place that he needs to seal the title suddenly the focus turns to what's going on behind him can scott redding pick back up the pace quickly enough top rack has seen blood scott redding he knows he's got a chance to do it you'd see riding there with that little bit of a slip again on the run through three and four try and get close enough now these are the three men who've been knocking spots off one another all season after jonathan ray and try and chase him down for a championship win in style redding's got just about enough in hand for the moment inside though on the switch back for turn 17 he won't want to mess up the two champ back into turn one at the start of lap 18 this could be a title winning overtake from top rack raz gatlioglu he's meant it's uh, all about what the ducatis can do because ray and raz gatlioglu for the moment look settled a second one campaign redding's quite good through turn 13 and 14 compared to top rack we'll see if he can get close enough breaking zone into turn 15 and 16 though doesn't look like being an easy opportunity to pass top rack raz gatlioglu and top rack defend 10 so for scott redding he needs to focus on using the strengths of that ducati so we need to exit Con ray with victory would be 25 points behind top rack raz gatlioglu in the championship standings he would gain race wins consistently he's had a little bit of an extra edge today capitalizing on a couple of wayward moments nervous moments for raz gatlioglu yeah top right up two laps from the end and the race is finally beginning to settle down although you'd have to say raz gatlioglu 134.288 he's half the gap to ray it's only six tenths ahead of this final lap he's going after the at some point in this lap he might view it that it's a, a bridge too far to be able to close up on ray i think that points up a uh, victory in what is the penultimate race of this 2021 campaign it's going to be a first victory since Raskatli, where he sits. It's been far from a percentages game, though, from Raskatli Oglu. It's been a race that has seen him backwards and forwards through the order. Rain has come to an end. A new era has begun in World SBK. The 2021 motto and places what he secures. Jonathan Ray is the race winner, but it's Top Rack who's done Scott Redding in what is a championship winning move. And yeah, you can see the two title contenders there fighting it out to the nail on the racetrack. They've both got so much respect for one another, but first world championship as well. Uh,
bad. And uh, certainly for Yamaha, this is going to be one race two this afternoon. But what a season it has been for them. A uh, first world. And Raz Gatlioglu looks emotional. And well, he might be. He's kept it all in well. He's looked cool. He's looked calm. He's Well, if you thought that that kind of six-year run could never end, that he could never be beaten, the answer is all good. And uh, he's pushed too hard on a few occasions, but he's been pushed to that point by Toprak and Yamaha. Remember, Toprak was the course of the last couple of months since then is a rider just doing absolutely everything he could to make sure he was able to tick all the boxes and get over the line. Well, if you're based on the other side of the world, then you've uh, had to get up a chance to his fellow countrymen. And now the uh, preparations can begin for what will be his uh, lap of honour. Is that uh, they've been prepared for everything on the racetrack. Looks like they were prepared for something off the track as well. Again, just 25 championship points between Jonathan Ray and Toprak Razgat. And Ray era comes to an end, even with him winning another race. But uh, certainly, with uh, he would have been in a position to try and attack as well. And it definitely looked like he was willing to attack. And I think that says everything you need to know about the race for the Toprak Razgat. Jonathan Ray halved the gap to him. I think he realised, though, in the first sector of that final lap, it was time to think about the jab. Yamaha personnel down there. Looked like Ashley Banks was down there. And uh, Ash is uh, looking like it could be... For, for Jonathan Ray, he becomes a race winner at a 21st different circuit. Three 340. Three is made. Top rack Razgat Lioglu is the man to unseat Jonathan Ray. Third position in race one of this uh, Pirelli Indonesian round. The uh, numbers all prepared. The uh, gold. For He's had some tough times and uh, obviously enough over the course of the last few years. We've seen him really come into his own. Big journey for top. Yeah, massive. Yamaha came back into World SBK in 2016. It took them a while to manage to get that program fully back on track. We saw them with uh, Sylvain Gintoli, former world champion Alex Lowe.